Uh, I'm here with the winners of the doubles bracket today, Tsuba and Desta. <laughs> Second place is me. <laughs> uh, that, that's a weird situation, man. It is a weird situation. Uh, anyway, so you got to act as a commentator. Right, right, right. So, first of all, congratulations on your win, Tsuba, Destiny. Thank you. You guys played very well. Um, Thank you. So, how does it feel to be like the most janky team that Smash 4 has ever seen? Dude. I, I think when she teamed up with Fire, like with Charizard and Little Meg, that was a bit more jankier. But but still, uh, Zero Suit, Little Meg is also. Uh, are you saying that Charizard is not a, a, is jankier than CSS? Who is jankier well, than CSS? Is pretty janky, and I uh, guess in doubles, All right, he can okay. also do a lot of crazy okay. stuff. Okay, okay, so we got some Zero Suit opinions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. So talk a little bit about your bracket because um, yeah. from what I remember, you guys are the third seed. Yeah, that we means were. you played Mia Meru in in winter semis and then Quick and Ixis afterwards, right? True. Uh, how did those bracket matches go? Uh, okay, so against like the first set against you guys uh, was pretty tough. I I don't think it was last hit, but it, but it was game five. Yeah. And uh, you guys play matchups I don't like to play as Mac. I'd rather pick MK. Uh, you have experienced us yesterday, right? We played each other, and my Mac got pretty much destroyed. So yeah, but two v two is another story. Yeah. yeah. What about you? Like, uh, agree? Yeah, I agree because uh, I think uh, in the last set we played, our strategy in the end was that uh, Little Mac has to be keep center stage, and that if you guys uh, are going to platform camp, that's like the best for uh, for me yeah, as yeah. suit to catch you with up airs and get a lot of those uh, yeah. conversions. And uh, the same thing was then in the grand finals, I think. If you also did the same and it just worked. It, it's can, can I can I add okay. something? Yeah. So uh, I think Mac is like the essential part of that two v two match, and he really determines how uh, if the team wins or not. He has okay. uh, the KO punch, which in the end I used that to threaten you guys to for you guys to, uh, in order for you guys to go to the platforms, which then he can uh, ladder you guys. So and also being center stage is very crucial. Okay, so talking yeah. about Lil Mac, right? Yeah. Lil, we all know Lil Mac is not the greatest singles character. <laughs> uh, what do you feel about his role in doubles? Yeah, so so see, uh, yeah, as I said, I, d I think that he plays like a very, very big part. Uh, he can whiff punish so well. Sometimes I just wait until you guys punish him and then I go and whiff punish you guys. So both are off stage, but he can act earlier. Something like that. That's also great because I can go for a lot of risky plays, like just go for raw grabs. And if I hit him, I throw them to Desti, who will just uh, punch him in the face. Right. And so if I miss them uh, and they try to punish me, they will also get a uh, strong punish. So, so in the team, Zero Suit basically starts the action, and then Little Mac backs her up. Yeah. Right? yeah. Okay. Yeah. So talking about that grand final set real quick, um, the first set you guys got absolutely destroyed. Like, I mean, I mean, I mean, come on. Um, but the second set, you guys came Doesn't back. Doesn't matter, man. The second You're still lost. <laughs> <laughs> the second set, you guys came back. So uh, what was the yeah. adaptation that you guys made to make that happen? All right, all right. So uh, when we played you guys in the very first set before winners finals, we actually focused more on me being center stage. But somehow in the first set of grand finals, we actually lost that mindset. We just Yeah, we just I focused that I would go in and that he would always stay yeah. back, but because yeah. he was staying back, but he was at the edge often and you guys edge yeah, guarded yeah, him yeah. a lot. So so that was it, right? So if I if I just stay in the center stage and I, if I don't uh, go to the near ledges, I'm totally fine. And my team is also gonna be totally fine. It, it's, re it's really crazy how much that uh, determines the game. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. So versus like a team like Ixis and Quick, right? Yeah. Which has Sonic, and Sonic can control the stage very well. Mm -hmm. His speed, he's pretty much all over the place. How yeah. do you, as a little mech, I'm sorry for excluding you, but no, he's no, so... Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, he's also cool, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, how do you, as a little mech, play around all that stage control? Because it feels like... Uh -huh. It seems to me that you have to play around Sonic, so that means you cannot decide where you want to be. So how does that work? All right, so against Sonic, Sonic just... Uh, in that matchup, he just camps the ledge so hard. But since it's 2v2, I don't have to go in. I just react to whenever he approaches, but I don't have to because I don't have to approach him. Because whenever I do, I might get off stage and all. And in 2v2, getting gimped or like uh, getting juggled is so hard. 
like, like it's so hard for me to get back to the stage. So I rather focus on not doing anything unless the opponent comes to me. Yeah. yeah like I'm the aggressor and he's just playing very patiently, staying center stage. And yeah. All right. Yeah, we're we're all. I mean. We're saying the same all the time. Yeah, <laughs> right? No. That's I all that we focus yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really. And it worked out. He always had to remind me that when we had the lead, that we have to camp. We have to. We can yeah, camp. Yeah. We can chill. Be because then they have to approach, yes. which is good. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, it sounds like a strong strategy still. Lomac, such strong KO power, and mm -hmm. uh, Zero Suit has the speed to back him up wherever he needs it. So good job, guys. If you guys want to want to add anything, feel free and any shout outs, stuff like that. Now's the time. Uh, okay, so shout out since I'm on stream. Uh, thank you for my sponsor, My Insanity. Uh, they are currently the best team in any game, I think. And um, what else can I say? Uh, shout also out to Twice. Huge oh fucking shout outs to get Twice, get man. The hell out of no, no. <laughs> with this weep crap, man. Fuck it. That's, I'm not a weep. Man, he, I'm half he's Japanese. Just, and I, he's I say Japanese. That you're a weep, he's man. trying hard. <laughs> Okay, no, so, uh, I'm kidding. Uh, we've got Kira Kira playing Tekken 7 for us, for my insanity, uh, in this tournament as well. Okay. So, uh, we'll Be on the lookout for Kira Kira then. Yeah, yeah, he's actually very, very good. He's like top three in Europe. Okay. Or that's what he told me, but yeah, he has done some good shit. Okay. So, be on the lookout for Tekken. How about you, Tiba? <laughs> Any shoutouts? Um, probably shoutouts to uh, my crew, the Winnie Hearts Jr. <laughs> uh, we, we exist like for, I think, like three years already, but we've never made ourselves really public. But uh, yeah. I guess that will change with Smash Ultimate. Uh, also, my, my clan Eternal Zone is pretty dead, but still, I love those guys. And uh, yeah, anyone who tuned in, thanks for watching. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And we're going to move on to Dragon Ball Fighters now. However, afterwards, we'll be getting... First, we're going to take a break. Uh, so stay break? tuned. Yeah. And later today, there's obviously going to be more Smash 4 action. So guys... Stay tuned. Yeah.